Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 lessons today and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to practice solving <clears throat> single step equations here okay so we um, you might just be starting to be introduced to some uh, solving some equations and um, needing to know how to do some of these and and uh, I'm gonna go over that with you today and uh, the things and inner workings of what you need to do with uh, single step equations and for that matter solving um, multi-step equations and so <clears throat> the big thing that you want to remember is that an equation is a mathematical statement that is true and it has an equal sign okay so those are some things that you need to remember that uh, while you're solving um, some equations here is that uh, the equation you're solving is a mathematical statement that is true and it has an equal sign and the big idea that we're trying to do is we are trying to isolate the variable so that we can make that statement true. Prove statement is true. That's what we're trying to do, okay? So uh, a, lo a lot of times what you need to do when you're uh, solving these equations is you might hear your um, teacher talk about um, inverse operations and inverse operations <clears throat> are just like normal operations that you would do with PEMDAS here so you have PEMDAS uh, parentheses exponents multiplication division addition and subtraction you would follow these operations um, if you are, uh, let's see, you're evaluating. Evaluate or you're simplifying. Okay. When you're going to be using inverse operations, you are going to be using something called uh, SADMEP a lot of the times. Now these are just acronyms, you know, you, you've heard them before, but with inverse operations you are um, not evaluating or simplifying, you are solving, um, <clears throat> you're solving the equations, okay? So it's the same old operations, subtraction, addition, division, multiplication, exponents, and parentheses, but the order that you do these is why we call it inverse operations because we are doing the exact opposite so that we can solve for the variable okay so you have something maybe like um, maybe something like this okay let me show you you got something along these lines. You got 4 plus x equals 6. Okay? This is a simple um, equation, and you have to figure out what, what x is. And so, a lot of times, what I would have my students do is they would read this equation, and I would tell them. 4 plus what number is equal to 6 and so a lot of them would say well that was easy Mr. Anderson I, I know that 2 or x equals 2 would have to make that statement true but how do I solve that or prove that <clears throat> and you would use 
your inverse operations here. You would use your sad map. And so you would look into this equation right here and you would see what type of operation is going on. I see that there is an addition sign here and I would ask myself, okay, what operation do I need to do to cancel that out or um, uh, remove that or move it to the other side so that I can balance my equation and get x by itself here. And so I know that the opposite of addition or a positive or whatever is, is to subtract. So I want to keep my variable positive and I see that there's a positive number here. I would subtract that positive number from both sides like so. This is going to make a zero and it's going to leave the x by itself. And now I have this simple little uh, subtraction um, statement here, 6 minus 4, and well that is equal to 2. And so that's how you would prove um, those little inverse operations there. And you would use that on simple little one step, two step, three step, even all the way up to 100 bazillion steps equations but the main idea and principle behind everything is that when you're using inverse operations you use it to solve for the variable um, when you're using PEMDAS you are evaluating and simplifying so let's do a couple more examples here and maybe I can show you what I mean um, so uh, let's say we got an equation right here we have uh, x minus 7 is equal to um, 12 okay and so I see this simple equation I want to get x by itself and uh, I would ask myself in my brain I'd read it out loud I'd say some number minus 7 is equal to 12 and so my goal is to figure out what this number is here so that I can um, make the statement true. Well, what you would do here is you'd use your inverse operations and you'd see that I have a subtraction sign here. And so what I need to do to get the x by itself is I need to do the polar opposite of subtraction, which is addition. So I need to uh, add this whole number here from this side also to this side. So I'm adding 7 to each side and that's going to get rid of that and I'm going to have x is equal to 12 plus 7 which is 19. Now how do I know I'm right? Well I can take this x that I just found and I can plug it back into my statement here and see if it's true. So I can go 19 minus 7 is equal to 12 and I know that 19 minus 7 is 12 and so that would mean that 12 does equal 12 and that is a true statement that works so that's one way I know I'm correct okay let's do one more and then I'll call it good um, let's say I have an uh, equation here where I have um, let's have negative 3 is equal to um, x divided by 20 okay now in this statement it says negative 3 is equal to some number divided by 20 and so my goal is to figure out what this number is that when I divide it by 20 it is equal to negative 3 okay so what you would do here is again you would um, take a look at the operation that's going on in the equation and I see that there's a division sign in the um, in the equation and what I would do is I would do the polar opposite of division so that I can um, isolate the variable x and the polar opposite of division is multiplication so I'm actually going to be multiplying on this side as well as this side and the thing I'm going to be multiplying by is the reciprocal of uh, x over 20. And in that case, it is 20 over 1. That's the reciprocal. And so what happens is these 20s cancel out. 
and I multiply a 20 over here over 1 and what happens is I'm isolating the variable x on this side of the equation and so then I have 20 times negative 3 and I find it 20 times negative 3 is negative 60 okay now I need to you know prove that my statement is true because an equation is a mathematical statement of truth and so I need to prove that negative 3 divide negative 3 is equal to x divided by 20 I need to prove that x does equal 20 so I'm going to simply plug that negative 60 back in and hopefully that will prove my statement so this is what it would look like if I'm trying to prove my statement so negative 60 divided by 20 I do know that 20 goes into 60 three times so that would mean that that negative would stay out there and I would have negative 3 is equal to negative 3 and that makes the statement true again you guys I hope you've learned something from solving the simple uh, equations one step equations and I, learned, I hope you learned something from uh, inverse operations as well and um, I hope you come back and enjoy some more and please like comment and subscribe what you uh, enjoyed about the video and I'll see you next time have a great day